In this video I'd like to introduce you to the Jolt mobile app and the list functionality. So here I am on the home screen. You can see each of the employees or users names here. You can either select the individual's name and then enter in your four digit PIN to log in or up here in the top right hand corner you can actually uh, log in using that login function. Here you're just going to select the first letter of your first name and then you'll select your name and your four digit pin. Now that you're logged in, let's navigate over to the list section. Here you can see there are a few lists that have displayed. One is in red. When I select this list, you can see that it displayed 14 hours ago and it was due 11 hours ago. So that means this list was not completed. It's showing in red because it's overdue and it hasn't yet been completed. I can still come in and complete any of these tasks by just selecting that little gray check and turning it to blue. And it includes my name with the date and timestamp of when I completed the task. So I can continue to complete this list, it's just going to be completed late. Now these lists here are not in red, so if I select my opening checklist for example, then here you can see it displayed at 6 a.m., it's due at 12 p.m. And then if I check those items off, it's still including my name, but it's not in red like you're seeing here in the overdue list. You'll see each of these tasks have assigned three points. That means as I complete these items, I will earn three points. However, this list is late, so those points are automatically cut in half. So I will not receive full value. I'll still get points for completing the task, even if it's late, but I don't get full points. When I go back to the home screen here, you'll see I now have five points. And this will reset at the beginning of each month. The additional columns here, you have your shared items, meaning these are the tasks that are shared amongst your role that still need to be completed. It's showing in red because that list that is late. Once we complete that list, these will turn black until we have completed all the items in our lists. Assigned items are items that are assigned specifically to you as a user, and then this is also letting you know the time remaining on those assigned items so that you can make sure you complete them on time. When I go back to the lists, as soon as I complete any of my tasks, I will want to submit those items. Now you can complete the entire list and submit the entire list or you can check items off as you go and then submit those items. It's going to tuck them away so you can't see them, making your list shorter so you know what's remaining. If you want to see those completed tasks, you'll just come up to the three dots here and then you'll hide the submitted items. You'll turn that off so now you're showing submitted items and then you'll see that those items that I've previously submitted are now back. So you can turn that off or on just by clicking the three dots here. You also have the ability to go into the history tab where you can look for any particular date ranges or particular list. There is a filter here so you can look for a specific list template. You can look for a specific date range and then when you select the date you'll see all of the lists that apply and then you can see those results. So you can jump into the history tab at any point and view any of your lists as well as in the reporting section here where you can have reports predefined for you based on parameters whether it's date ranges or the checklists so for example temperature logs over the last 30 days we can see which lists are here each time it displayed and then it has not yet been completed so it's showing as incomplete for each of the items. One last thing I want to show you in the list section within each of your items there are three dots here when you select the three dots, if it's available, you'll have the option to mark the item is non applicable. So maybe it doesn't apply for this particular list. Let's say it's raining outside. You're not going to go outside and wash the windows, right? The other one you, I want to point out here is our logbook entry. With the logbook here, you can add pictures with the camera, record a video. You can add in a comment. And if something needs to be followed up on this item, you can flag that item, which the management team would then be able to see those flagged entries, they can respond back, they can resolve it once it's been taken care of. If this is just informative, you can go ahead and post that if there's no action required.